This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to go over how to calculate the mean arterial pressure, the MAP. And if you would like some extra practice problems, you can access the free quiz at the end of this YouTube video. So let's get started. First, let's start out talking about what is the mean arterial pressure, the MAP. It is the pressure in our arteries during one cardiac cycle. And it tells us how well our vital organs are being perfused, like our renal system and brain. And with the brain, we learned in our video about increased intracranial pressure, the mean arterial pressure is very important in allowing us to to maintain that cerebral perfusion pressure. So how do we calculate mean arterial pressure? Well, to do that, we have to remember this formula. So I would commit this to your memory. It says the mean arterial pressure is equal to the diastolic blood pressure, which is that bottom number, times two, plus the systolic blood pressure, which is the top number, divided by three. And to calculate your map, what you need to know is you need to know the person's blood pressure. And here our blood pressure is 102 over 70. So let's set our problem up and work it. Okay, so our diastolic is 70. So 70 times two equals 140. And then we're gonna take 140 and add that to the systolic blood pressure. So 140 plus 102 equals 242. Then we're gonna take 242, divide it by three. So 242 divided by three equals 80.6 repeating. And we're gonna round that up. So our map is 81. And how do we interpret that? That is within normal limits, so our map is good. Okay, so that is how you calculate the mean arterial pressure, and don't forget to take that free quiz for some extra practice problems. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to take the free quiz and to subscribe to our channel for more videos.